I think the biggest challenge is the fact that it's a sport that people don't understand and then you attach women to it, it makes it even more difficult. Women have always had to work really hard to gain legitimacy in athletic realms. The fastest way that the sport is gonna grow is you have to have some kind of presence on, on national TV. If there was mainstream network coverage, it would be a huge help. Somebody who's just an average person from some place that I've never been, can all of a sudden just see it, That's, that'd be a dream, that would be the best. It's not mainstream where you can turn on ESPN on the weekend and watch a roller derby bout. So it's, you have to seek it out. You have to go on, on the internet and look at you know, Derby News Network to find who are these players. DNN really has become the recognized place to find information about modern roller derby. We've started by providing what the skaters themselves were looking for and what we were looking for too, which is write a sports article about that game. Forget the, the outfits and talk about the, the tactics. We really have become a gathering place for roller derby fans and roller derby skaters is because they know on any given Saturday they can come find some roller derby bout that's going to be live on our site. White fly. We've been doing this on our own dime for years, just like the skaters do, but it really just in the last few weeks we're turning that corner where we are making enough money from sponsorships of our coverage and from direct donations from our audience that Justice and I are, are starting to be able to draw an income from it. A very meager income, but enough to be able to do what we really love doing. They're streaming the games on Derby News Network and Justin TV, but eventually there has to be network coverage. I, I think it's sad that you can turn on ESPN and watch a hot dog eating contest, but you can't see a roller derby championship out. You see some crazy sports and things on TV that have made it and, and are broadcast nationally and draw attention. Uh, is this sport ready for that? Is it organized enough? I think it's going to be a natural evolution of our sport, just like s snowboarding and skateboarding and mountain biking. If dominoes can be on ESPN, why can't roller derby? Because mainstream media is driven by ad revenue, and mainstream media therefore needs to see that there's corporate interest in a sport and possible ad revenue for the mainstream media covering it. Then you get a lot of money involved and you know you have to make a lot of concessions for big name sponsors. You know, you you have to be a little bit more PC, you have to play by different rules, you know, like you it, it becomes much more structured and it's kind of dictated by where the money's coming from. Being skater owned and operated, everybody's so fiercely protective of their league and of being exploited by other people that I think that the level of control that that roller derby would have to have over television, it's going to make it a slow process to get it on television. Nobody's in a hurry to, to, to jump in and do TV because most of what's, what the approaches are isn't about let's put this on like a sport like football or baseball. It's a little bit more like let's do a lifestyle reality show. That's not what the participants are interested in. We've got a video crew that's been trying to break the code of how you film derby, you know, and they, they're getting really close. I became really enamored with the idea of trying to turn this into a sports production. Let's look at ESPN, let's study what they do, and let's see what that would look like in derby. Of course, done derby style, which means that, you know, we're out here on our personal time trying to figure it out. There are, you know, hundreds of communities across this country and now across the world that want to know what's happening here today. And I love the idea that we get to tell that story for them. What happens if ESPN swoops in? What happens to DNN? My answer to that is, you mean, I don't have to figure out how to twist a couple of coat hangers together to get video coverage to happen? Great. Mission accomplished. ESPN can do that part. We'll be happy to just keep on doing commentary and, and you know, our own inside view and analysis of it. Is it scary to think of ESPN coming in here and saying, Bob Costas is taking your spot, Capone? Yeah, it's a little scary. And it is going to be interesting to see the athletes that they quote unquote bring in because of the attraction of being on ESPN. But I don't think it's nothing that flat track roller derby or roller derby itself couldn't handle. I mean, the sport of roller derby has had so many different like incarnations. It's, it's astounding. Every time somebody tries to kick this sport to the ground, it arises like a phoenix from the ashes, you know what I mean? There is no keeping roller derby down.